Hello everybody. So let's go for the first drawing with um, a mechanical connector. We have all the dimension over there with a small hole here. Okay. So we are in your in our work area. So I have to ask for a new content or directly a new 3D part. Okay. So now we are here in a physical product. I'm in a sketcher. Okay, so I have to choose my uh, application, part design, double click. Okay, so let's go. So we have to design um, a profile, just this profile. And this profile uh, will rotate um, about this Z axis. Okay, so we have to add the dimension. So the diameter is uh, 70. So I click, uh, if I click once on constraint, I can add a dimension here. Okay, so remember it's 35, okay. And if I want to add another dimension, I have to click again. So if I don't want to, to do this, I can double click, so I keep uh, the, the tool activate. Okay, so from there to there, it's, I don't remember, 75. Okay, so this, so. Okay, so we got our profile. So don't forget to save. So let's go. If I want to save, it save with the same name. Okay. If you want to change, and you have to notice this small A1, uh, this is the number of the revision. We will see something uh, later. So if you want to give it uh, another name, so you have to right click on your property. You can change. So I, I call this triple X uh, shaft number one. Okay, so this is the name of your uh, drawing. And here, when you save now, this is uh, the new name. Okay, uh, so let's go. So you exit uh, the application. Now you are again in part design and you can Go on the shaft, the shaft tool. It's okay. And it asks me uh, the axis. So, two ways. Or you select the axis here, or you just click on it here, and you get on the axis here. Okay. Preview. Okay. So, you can play now with the view, very important. Or you get a shading view. We've got shading with edge. So for me, I prefer shading with edge. If you want to add uh, the chamfer here, you just select the edge, then I do it again. Select, and you get some tools here. If you don't add the tools you want, you can go there, refine, and you got the chamfer tool here. Okay, so it's, I think it's, remember it's two millimeter, Preview, okay, perfect. Now we're going to uh, design the hole. So I select uh, the ZY axis, plane, sorry. Ask for a sketch. Look, we are on the sketcher. Design the uh, hole. So I, I designed the hole here. Look, if I go on the axis, you have a small, uh, sign that means you are coincident okay so constraint diameter 10 millimeter and you got a dimension here it's 48 so i select 
constraint from there to there. It's 48. A small tips, if you want to move uh, the dimension here, if you go there, you can move, so you change the dimension, so it's not good. If you move in the hour inside, you can move the dimension, okay? And if you double click over there, you can change the dimension, okay? So now we finish with the sketch of the hole, exit application, and in essential, we got something called pocket. Okay, so you decide to uh, drill in both sides from the middle plane, so it's there. Okay, and you can Okay, preview. Okay, so you finish your first part. Just another tips um, as concerning the um, toolbox. If you right click here, you can add um, icons and text. So that's what you use. Okay, for me, I prefer to, to add this text. And uh, you get all your tool over there. Okay, you got a small sign here, a yellow and black. That means you have to update your part. Okay, so you finish your first, your first part. Okay, thank you.